Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, now that we're done with Corinth, I think we should send at least some of our cruisers back to Vancouver and towards Sweden. Because I still think Sweden is up to no good. There's no reason for them to have so many units on my border. Let's just send a few cruisers. We won't be needing so many cruisers anymore. Even if I decide to take another coastal city, we don't need all of them. So, let's say three or four cruisers. That should be fine. We can always buy one if necessary. I don't think we'll have to go that far, but it's a possibility. Alright, and you guys can just repair. Alright. No, I don't want to declare war. Why would I want to do that? I just want to move, thanks. Let's just embark. That's going to be a bit faster. Alright then. So, worker, what can we improve? Can we improve anything useful? Not a whole lot, really. We can finish the railroads. That's about it. Alright. So, rebase the bomber. Off you go. And how about we rebase this guy? Back to Mosonkani or something. Not a bad idea. We aren't going to war with Alexander just yet. We'll consider doing that in 15 turns or so. Then we can just move the bomber back. What do you want? You want our vote. I'm not giving you my vote, sorry. Did you see how much aluminum he had? Like 23? That's a little bit insane. But alright. We really got shafted when it comes to strategic resources. We got a little bit of aluminum, but yeah, not a whole lot. At least we have a lot of oil. So there's that. Alright, let's just rebase back to Temoak or Mosulkani. That works. Alright. Off you go. As for the worker, let's see, what can we improve? What about the desert up here? The railroad can wait. Wait, does this city have a railroad connection? No. Right, sure, let's finish the railroad then. Okay, good enough. And let's keep moving. We'll need a few turns to get back to Vancouver, but that's okay. And we still got a light tank over here. He'll be staying near Corinth. Another worker. Can we get any more villages? Not really. Alright. He'll just chill. What's this style? Is that a fort? Oh no, that's the Portuguese unique improvement. Alright. Interesting. Improve the uranium, obviously. That was one of the reasons we took the city. As for our capital, maybe we should try to build the wonder. It's not a bad one. I wouldn't mind extra spies. And 15% reduction in enemy spy effectiveness in all our cities. Let's give it a shot, and we should probably build the Manhattan Project somewhere. Some city where production doesn't suck. Like Ankara. The arsenal can wait. Yeah, that works. That's seven turns total. Alright. Roughly the same time we need to improve the uranium. And we got another franchise. Nice. In one of the Chinese cities. 785 gold per turn. We got 10,000 gold. I think we should be spending it more aggressively at this point. Because what else are we going to do with it? Let's rush a few buildings. So, what can we rush? Alexander is plotting against you. <laughs> oh, really? I can't imagine why he would be doing that. So, what can we rush? 
Technically, we could rush the wonder if we want to. But we might end up wasting our gold. Yeah, it's better if we rush it when it's closer to completion. Okay, so what can we rush? What about that trader seeds? It's around exactly 50% done. Alright, one turn. Good enough. Anything else? That arsenal? I'm not convinced we actually need one. We don't have a problem with crime in here, but alright, we'll finish it. The rest looks fine. Hey Sweden, get out of here. You're not welcome on our border. I'm just saying. He is totally going to declare war at some point. I pretty much expect that. Question is when, not if. Well, especially since he went freedom. Which means we got a fairly significant penalty with him. Yeah, we also got minus 20, because other receives that he likes more than us denounced us. And we got a minus 60 from warmongering, and minus 90 from different ideologies. So... I'm pretty sure he's going to declare war at some point. We'll be prepared. Hey, if he declares war, I'll just take one or more of his cities. It might take a while, but we got bombers now. That definitely gives us an advantage. Speaking of bombers, we could rush them a little bit more. Can we just buy one, or do we need some improvement for that? I know buying regular units requires military academy or something, but what about air units? Yeah, we can buy a bomber. 830 gold. That's pretty cheap. Can we buy them in other cities? Let's see. Yeah, okay, they require a military academy. You know what? We should get a military academy in one of these. I don't think we actually have one. No, we don't. So how about a military academy in Mosonkani? It won't take too long, especially if we rush it. And instead of the arsenal, perhaps. Alright, let's grab one in here. Four turns, good enough. Mechanized infantry. 1360 gold for an upgrade. That's worth the discount that we have. That's pretty expensive. Obviously we don't have mobile tactics yet, but that seems like one expensive upgrade right there. Also, since we're preparing to fight Sweden, we should probably move our artillery a little bit. You know, I might just declare war on Sweden myself once our declaration of friendship expires, because we got one right now. But we could just declare war on him ourselves. Oh hey, I see rebels around Athens. Looks like he's having some problems with happiness. We'll see, I'm not quite sure what our next move is going to be just yet. We got time to decide. You know which city also needs a military academy? Corinth. So that we'll be able to buy unis in there. But it's still in resistance for 9 more turns. So it will take a while before it's fully useful. Let's move that artillery into the city. To keep it safe. Alright. And let's keep moving. That's a lot of ships. Does Morocco not have access to cruisers yet? I guess they don't. Or maybe they can't afford the upgrades. Can we trade anything? Probably not. Yeah, 20 aluminum. Now he certainly can afford upgrades. He has 17,000 gold. China will buy our sugar. We could buy her vote. Then again, I'm pretty sure she's going to vote for it anyway. 
She really wants that sugar. All right. 500, 420, and jewelry. All right, good enough. Who else? Can we get some trade with Sweden? Oh, Not really, yeah, unless we want to sell like one horse or something like that. Food set. Sure, here, have a horse. Dang you can it. ride it into battle. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Alright. So, repair. And let's see. General into the city. We'll keep that artillery in the city, it's fine. Or we can move the machine gun instead. No, we can keep the rifleman inside the city. Yeah, that's a better idea. Plus one population in several cities. Can we get something more useful than a machine gun? We could grab agri business. I don't think this city really needs one. Although... Maybe? What else can we get? Stock exchange, stadium, we don't need a stadium. A hotel? It won't really change much. We got plus eight tourism and that's it. Let's finish that machine gun, it's fine. In case we ever end up at war with China. Which we might actually, I mean we do have different ideologies. I'm thinking we should get more units in general on our home island. How about we upgrade all of these guys a little bit. Again, just in case. We need some defenses in advance. Oh, yep, he declared war on us. I knew it. Okay, then. So, we know who our next target is going to be. Sweden. He already managed to kill a unit, really. Oh, this guy. He was in Birka's bombardment range. Alright, that's fine, I suppose. We got the bombers. I don't think he really stands a chance, but whatever flows his boat. We will definitely be taking at least one city from him. Look at all these citadels though, that might get slightly annoying. A good rule oh nice, rocket ship. So that unlocks the destroyer and also gives us more production. And we got a great scientist too. What's our production up to? Almost 300 in here, very nice. I'll just keep spamming bombers. In fact, let's just buy one. Can we buy one in a different city? No. Alright, let's buy one then. And what do we want to research next? Either radar or nuclear fission. I think we should get radar, that will unlock heavy bombers, fighters and airports. And then we could go for mobile tactics, which will unlock helicopter, gunship and mechanized infantry. Mechanized infantry doesn't require any resources. Alright, radar it is then. And we'll pop the scientist. That gives us radar instantly. Nice. And mobile tactics next. So, upgrade the bombers. Okay, now Sweden definitely doesn't stand a chance. We got two heavy bombers instantly on his border. And more coming. Do we have a military academy in another city? Yes, we do, in our capital. Where's the heavy bomber? Right here. Oh, we can't purchase that one without an airport. That's sneaky. We need an airport then. Let's see. Let's just pay 2,000. Wait, what exactly does an airport do? Increases air unit capacity... yeah, that's normal. Okay, it doesn't give us any experience for air units or anything like that. It just allows the purchase of heavy bombers. We can still buy regular bombers though. Or can we? Why did the queue not change? If it's not available anymore. I guess it would change on the next turn. That's a bit weird. 
Okay, let's spam heavy bombers in here. Sure. All right. So, Sweden. This should be fun. We'll focus on defense for a bit. And once we kill some units, then we'll go on offense. And we should probably wait for our cruisers to arrive there. We'll need them against Birka and such. Yep, sounds good to me. Let's go. Maybe we should send one more. With plus one range. So any of these guys. Yeah, let's maybe send one more. This is going to be enough. There's also a city close to Corinth. We could try to attack that one too. That's not a bad idea. In fact, we can attack it with our artillery from back here. This guy has plus one range. Yeah, we can keep bombarding that city. I think we will be able to just take it. Now, the only problem here is that our worker is a little bit exposed. We might want to move in slightly to protect him. Alright, we'll protect him. Any more units around here? The light tank. Let's see what he's going to do. More unit upgrades. We still got 3000. We are making 809 gold per turn. That's pretty crazy. We might even pass 1000 gold per turn at this rate. We just need a few more offices and a few more franchises. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Alright, so, bomber. Siege. And upgrade. So that's our third heavy bomber. And we still got this guy. That's four heavy bombers. Looking forward to this. I don't think Sweden has any air units or the tech to get air units. Which gives us a huge advantage right now. Trade route to China or maybe Surabaya. 36 culture, 60 culture from the Chinese city. 60 culture from Shanghai. Let's go to Shanghai. And like I said, we'll just defend for now. Let him attack us. I assume that's what his plan was. He's the one who declared war. Which one of these guys is the Khan? This dude. Alright. Where is he going with these melee units? Or blunt units in general? Oh! Okay, hold on. What exactly is he planning to do here? Is he planning to attack Vancouver or Agaidka with this? Interesting. We can target them with our bombers while they are embarked. And with our artillery too. Sneaky bastard. It's a shame our cruisers aren't a little bit closer. But alright. Also, what can we do with our faith? I don't think we want to wait to get 20,000 faith. We could grab a great writer, which is not a terrible idea. Let's grab a great writer, why not? Here. So, let's do some damage, shall we? We got two heavy bombers. Yeah, I think we should target these embarked units. We'll do far more damage while they are embarked. Let's see. Yeah, this one will go down easily. So, one down. And... Yeah, attack the other one. Good enough. Let's keep moving. Now I kind of wish I brought more cruisers, but four cruisers should be enough against Birka. Or five. One is slacking behind slightly. Okay, bomber. Upgrade. And rebase the other one. How far can we rebase? A heavy bomber. Yeah, not this far. Borsa first. We finished an armory. 
Should we grab a military academy next? Maybe? Or Trader Seed's office. Yep, let's grab an office. Because, you know, we clearly need more gold, right? Of course we do, we always need more gold. Now, we need what, two more turns to finish the uranium? Yep. Back up. Let's see, how many turns for Corinth to get out of resistance? Seven more. This might be interesting. We have enough units, but the problem is that I want to finish that uranium mine, which means I need to protect the worker. Who has plus one range? You don't, so move out of the way. Just this guy from the looks of it. Alright, if he moves one tile closer, we'll be able to attack him with our cruiser. So that's the plan, I suppose. Alright. Good enough. One more railroad section. Let's stay out of Birka's bombardment range for now. Another upgrade. Can we upgrade anything else? I think that's it for now. We can upgrade the Corvettes. Actually, no, we can't. We don't have the coal. Never mind. The repair is done. Might want to remove some of these railroads. East of Corinth. We don't exactly need them for anything. So, next. Not much point rushing anything. In fact, we are down to literally 34 gold. Hey, that was quite an efficient use of gold right there. Yoni is killed, what? Oh, yeah, it's the guy who was improving the uranium. Well, I guess the uranium will have to wait. Yep, it will have to wait. It's okay, it's not going anywhere. And we just need like one or two more turns to finish the mine on it. Maybe we can get our worker back. Let's find out. Give me my turn first. Yeah, we also lost the machine gun. But now our cruisers are in range. Let's start from Corinth in that case. First attack with the two guys who don't have plus one range. That was almost enough damage. And then the land ship. I don't think we can kill it. No, not on this turn. Well, alright, we still got one more worker. It's not really a big deal. Okay. Fine. Stay where we are. I'm mostly going to defend Corinth. This guy has plus one range. You know what? Let's keep him near Corinth. We could use another cruiser with plus one range. Wait, we don't have open borders with Morocco anymore? But one of our cruisers got kicked to Vancouver. The others stayed on this side. Give me open borders. There, we can trade open borders. You can have one gold or something. Here, five gold. That makes it acceptable, apparently. Alright, let's go. That was partially helpful with that one cruiser. Now, it's just one cruiser, so let's not lose it. We'll grab culture. That's over 7,000 culture. Yeah, okay. It will speed up our next policy. And I would definitely like to get that ASAP. Now. Bombers. What should we attack? Probably the land units over here. Yep. It will take a while to kill all his defenses, but that's okay. I'm not in a huge rush. Here, one down. Oh, we can target the Admiral, actually. Can't kill him, but oh well, maybe next time. New machine gun. 
So since we got a machine gun, how about we send one of these units? Doesn't really matter which. This guy is closer, he can go. And he has more experience too. Konya. Caravanzari, one turn. Might as well grab that. It's just one turn. And rebase heavy bomber. Off you go. Anything else? You know what we could do? We could build a road from Corinth leading south. That is not a bad plan. Sure, we can do that. Just protect that worker. This will be fun. As for the trade route, let's have a look. We can trade with Indonesia or Shanghai. We already have one trade route going to Shanghai. I kind of want the culture. That's plus 60 culture. It will help us get policies faster. And that's it. What do you want? I'm kind of busy, in case you haven't noticed. I'm just saying. Where are these frigates going? You want my oil? Well, we could trade some oil for aluminum. Yeah, that's a fair deal, I think. Okay, sure, that's a fair deal. He can have one oil. We still got ten more. It's not like we'll need that much, at least I don't think so. Yeah, he has a global monopoly on aluminum. We really got shafted as far as strategic resources go. Hey, our city is on the list. Seventh. Alright. So, let's check production first. We got minus two from crime, minus one from poverty. Let's grab arsenal. Not just for crime, but in case we ever end up at war with China. Speaking of wars, we are about to finish the Manhattan project, but we still need that uranium. Oh, he almost killed the light tank. That's not very nice. Okay. I don't think so, buddy. Right, let's maybe hide that light tank inside Corinth. That seems reasonable. We'll send the corvette as escort. So, bombers. I thought they will have better range than this, but alright. I guess not. You will go down. Let's focus on one area at a time, so back to Corinth for a moment. We can't kill the land ship. I don't think we can kill the La Gatling gun either, but we can do more damage to it. It's a shame we don't have plus one range on these other two cruisers. Oh well, that's fine. Speaking of cruisers, this guy. Let's just be careful where we go. And we got a new machine gun. We'll go for barrage on this one. We're still in range. And more artillery. We'll target the wounded dude. I have no idea what Sweden was thinking. He doesn't stand a chance. Then again, he didn't know we'll have heavy bombers when he declared that war. Sucks to be him. Now we got four heavy bombers in the area, and we will be getting more in three turns. However, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.